everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 336. I'm Nate Moore and I'm sending this to you from Miami where I'm in town to speak for the Association of Dermatology Administrators and Managers, Adam. Their meeting's uh, tomorrow in Miami. I'm here to speak on pivot tables. Again, if I haven't spoken to your meeting lately, I'd love to. We're going to slow down just a bit and do something easy today. We've kind of been doing something. Those, those reports were kind of complicated last time. What I want to do is something today that says, you know, it's interesting that I can make this pay in six months, but what if I go to Solver? What if I want to pay this machine off absolutely as fast as I can? What you can do when you set the objective cell B7, the number of months to pay this off, you can maximize it or minimize it, and that's what we want to do. We want to minimize, say, I want this number six, the number of months to pay back, to be as low as possible given these constraints. And let's just stick with the same constraints to keep it simple. I want my average reimbursement per patient has to be less than or equal to 120. I'm only going to pay up. To, oh, I'm only going to pay 35,000 for the machine, and I can only have up to 60 patients per month in my clinic. What is the fastest amount of time, given those constraints, that I can pay from my machine? And if we hit solve, it'll come back and say, "I found a solution for you." And the answer is in 4.86 months. If I only pay 35000 I get the maximum average reimbursement per patient, and I just fill the, the clinic for 4.86 months with 60 patients. That's the fastest I can possibly pay for this machine. Now, you could come back over to Solver and do the max, but think about what the, we're asking it to do on the max. We're saying, what's the maximum amount of time I can pay for this machine? Well, what's Solver going to do? It's going to blow up because it's say, well, what if I don't get paid anything for a patient? What if I don't see any patients? Well, I'm never going to pay for it. I get a divide by zero error, and that doesn't make any sense. So we'll come back here and say $100 and 40 patients, and we're back to an answer there. And if we solve, we can come back and do value of 6 subject to those constraints, and we're back. That's what I wanted to show you today, that you can do not just equals but max and min. Stay tuned next time. What I want to do is talk about, okay, what if I like that value of scenario and I like the minimum scenario and then I want to change some constraints or whatever. Is there a way to save these different solver things so I don't have to keep going back in and entering and changing all this stuff and this stuff every time? The answer is yes. It's this load save button. That's where we'll play next time. Thanks for watching.